Hey everybody. Just did a little booty workout, a little booty circuit. Okay. Definitely wasn't meant for to be cardio. I uh, did that about a half hour ago, and that's that's up on Dream Body's gym. And there's a breakdown here on YouTube. So that was actually pretty cool. This one was just times three rounds, a reps, a curtsy lunge with a lateral arm raise. Um, I only put five pounds in my hand because there were 20 reps on each side. And I wanted to focus on that lunge, and then when it's shoulders, I'll focus on shoulders. But so you get your medial glute, your core, and your top delt, but at the lighter weight. So right and then left, then I did a one leg hip lift, right and left, 20 and 20. Then step up to a lunge back, 10 and 10, because it's a compound move with my sandbag on my shoulders, but you know you can use dumbbells in your hands, um, hang down to your sides, on your shoulders, gallon jugs of water, gallon jugs with sand in it, pebbles, whatever, or even without weight. And then I did a KB rear lunge, um, and on the return there was like a swinging front raise. So, all of this stuff you can do without any weight at all, okay? For curtsy lunges, you can just, you, you either will or will not use the weight, and you're going to lunge, curtsy lunge. If you have a weight, it's going through here, and then you're squeezing as you laterally lift it with a soft elbow, okay? And not much higher than the shoulder, okay? Uh, and the other important point of that is that when you're lunging, you're trying not to go so far back and over that you're dragging that front knee out of alignment with the toes. So you don't want to be going like way over here, all right? You want to kind of keep that knee with the toes. So even though you're stepping back and over, you see my knee is with my toes, okay? So even though you're stepping back and over, your knee is with your toes. And then squeeze, okay? And the hip lift was down here, on here. So I just put right around where my bra strap would be, okay? And one heel's on, okay? And you go down. You can hold your neck if you want, and lift. When you lift, you're gonna lift, extend those hips, right? But, and squeeze the glutes, but what I don't want you to do is pop into the ribs. I don't want you to pop those ribs up. Keep the ribs down, keep the focus on extending the hips and squeezing the glutes, okay? One side, then the other. And this guy, the step up to the lunge back was, let me just move this. Um, you stepped up, then stepped right back down the same way you came up, and then that leg goes back. And you're up, down, back, okay? Chest up, core tight. And then the last one, that I actually used a kettlebell for, and again, you can use a dumbbell or nothing. It was a, so the weight, if you're using weight, is in the side of the um, stationary leg. Well, it's not stationary because it actually bends, but it's stationary meaning the foot doesn't leave the ground. So you're going back and up and back and up. And that particular move takes a lot of core as well as the booty and the shoulder. Okay, y'all? And if you do not have anything like this for your hip lifts, by all means, use your sofa. Just put a towel down so that you aren't sweating it out with your back. So put your back on your sofa and your heel on like your coffee table or a chair. Um, and if it's your coffee table, just put something there so you don't get your stinky sneakers on it. Alrighty then. Come see me at trainbodiesgym.com and do these two workouts that I actually did today with me in real time. See you next time. Bye.